Hi, it's Michelle Schubnell from Coach and Grow Rich and Group Coaching Success. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here and watching this video, but more importantly, thank you for being part of my community. I wouldn't get to do what I do if it wasn't for people like you, so I really appreciate you and thank you for being here. Today's video is about my broken arm lesson learned part two. As you may know, I had a little incident with a Segway in April, tipped it over, broke my arm, had surgery in May. Fortunately, I'm doing a lot, lot better. And it's been quite a journey and I've learned a lot from the experience. So I thought I would shoot this video and share the second part of my lessons learned from my broken arm. If you missed the first part, I wrote an article right after I had my surgery and it's posted on my blog so you can check it out there. Oh, and if you're really good, at the end of today's video, I'll show you my badass scar. It's big. Lesson number one, consistency is key. A big part of why I'm doing so much better, I have no doubt, is because my consistency doing physical therapy. Now, it's not very fun to do these exercises two or three times a day, but I'm very motivated. I want my arm to heal well. I'm getting ready to go on a big trip, and I wanted my arm to be as strong as possible. And I know that it's doing so much better because I was consistent about doing those exercises usually a couple times per day. And the same thing is true with business. Now, if I think about the journey that I've been on over all these years that I've had my business and the coaches I've worked with, probably people like you, one of the key factors that separates the coaches that make it and build a successful business and those who don't is the people who make it take consistent action. So just like with healing an arm through physical therapy, when you're growing your business, you've got to keep taking consistent action. So I hope you're doing that. Number two, it's important to ask for and receive help. Now, I'm naturally independent, and I typically don't like to ask for help, but when I had my broken arm and was like this for seven or eight weeks, I had no choice but to ask for a lot of help. And I have to tell you, I really had a shift from that experience. I got really comfortable asking and receiving help, and boy, did it make my life a lot easier. So again, this applies very much to growing your coaching business. Too often, we try to do everything on our own. Either we don't trust other people to do it, we don't feel like we can afford to get, we, afford to get the help we need, we don't want to be a burden to people. I guarantee you, if you are not consistently asking for help in your business and in your life on a regular basis, you're missing out on having your life and business run so much smoother and easier for you. Like I said, I've had a big shift around this since I broke my arm and had no choice, but to receive a lot more help and support, and it's made a huge difference for me. So I encourage you to ask yourself right now, are you getting the help and support that you need with regard to growing your business and also in your life? Because when your life runs better and is easier, you have more time and energy to focus on your business. So just check in with yourself and see if this might be a growth area for you too. We don't want for you to have to break your arm to learn that lesson. Number three, Things rarely happen in the time frame that we expect. It was almost three weeks from when I broke my arm to when I was able to schedule my surgery. I had to wear my sling two weeks longer than I thought. I wasn't able to drive for seven weeks. And even though my arm is definitely doing so much better, it still hasn't healed as quickly as I would have liked. This is another thing that happens so much as we're growing our business. We can't be attached to the time frame. So you, you can know what you're going for, take that consistent action, you know, set a time frame goal, but often things are out of control and often things take longer than we want or expect. So know that in advance, be okay with it, and don't let it frustrate you if things don't happen as quickly as you want. It just seems to be the nature of the way things work. And then finally, lesson number four, it's about the power of positivity. Fortunately, I'm naturally a pretty positive person, but there were times as I was dealing with my broken arm that I found myself getting into victim mode, feeling sorry for myself. Unfortunately, I realized that was not going to serve me. In fact, I remember being in the ambulance and in excruciating pain and just not in a very good place. And it was as if a voice came into my head and said, Michelle, what can you be grateful for right now? And I thought, and I was like, I know. I am so grateful that I had my two minutes on stage before I broke my arm.
because I was at a business networking event. And as part of the event, we each get two minutes on, st on stage to share a little bit about ourselves and our offerings and allow the other people in the community to get to know us. And fortunately, I was in the first 10 people who went out of 40 people in the room. And so instantly, I had something to be grateful for. And then I was like, yeah, and I did a good job when I was on stage, too. So never forget that power of positivity. If you're not asking yourself on a regular basis, what can you be grateful for, that is such a game changer. You're probably already doing it. But if not, let's see what we can do to up your gratitude scale. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you found these insights interesting, useful, perhaps a little entertaining. And because you were so good, I do have a surprise for you. Hopefully you're not too squeamish. Are you ready to see the scar? OK, so are you ready? I hope you're not too squeamish. Check out that bad boy. Starts all the way here, goes all the way to the elbow. I saw my doctor last week, and I walked, he walked into the examination room. He's like, well, let me see. So I showed him the scar, and he's like, that's a really big scar. I'm like, I know. You're the one that did it. So anyway, I wanted to share my scar with you. And thank you for the healing wishes, notes, and thoughts that I received. I definitely believe that I've had such a strong recovery from all the support and energy that people in my community have given me. So if you were one of those people, I thank you.